Grace and peace to you from the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, welcome to the channel, everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, before I start, there's a disclaimer. I am not a pastor, an elder, or a deacon. I'm just a regular individual who loves to read the Bible every day. So it gives me encouragement for the people out there to open your Bible, read your Bible, study your Bible, and to ask questions about the Bible. So today we're going to embark in Genesis chapter 43. Now, this is the second time they're going to go back to Egypt because they're running out of food. And um, Israel is telling his boys to go back to Egypt and go get some food or else they're going to die. But the young men knew that if they have to go back, they have to take Benjamin with them. So they spoke to, his, to their father, Israel, and they said to them, oh, well, if you go back, we have to take Benjamin with us because there's going to be no way that we can't go without him. So in the end of all that conflict, uh, Israel said, yes, okay, take your son, take your brother with you. So they did, and they took two bags of, of, of money because the first time they went back, they kept, they had money that they supposedly gave it to them, but they, they, they had it in their in their um, wrap sacks, so pretty much uh, that's what happened. And they're going back again and asking for some food. And they laid down on their feet. And now, when he saw his brother Benjamin, he um, said some words. And then after that, his warm heart started like aching and like you know he wanted to cry. So he went somewhere else. He went to cry and and then they had some something to eat with them but they cannot eat with each other because that will be uh permitted uh is permitted it's not permitted it's 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 a actual abomination that a jewish person a, a hebrew and a egyptian will be eating together and then that's how it ends in the chapter 20 uh, 43 but now on the on the scripture that Cha I'm about uh, chapter 43 it. verse 29 and it reads and he lifted up his eyes his brothers his brother Benjamin his mother's son and said is this the young the youngest brother of whom you sp you, you spoke to me God be gracious to you my son and on the notes it says Joseph easily used the name of God in the con on his conversation but the brothers did not hear the name of their own covenant God being spoken by one who looked just like an Egyptian so the moral of the story is I think that we should never uh, you know that old saying never judge by the book by its cover so anyone that you trying to evangelize don't think that they don't know anything about the gospel because basically they probably know more than than anybody else and especially to us but just give them give them grace peace and love and give them the right sort of gospel that god god came here to this world god came to save god was uh jesus died resurrected and he's coming back again you have to give the gospel you have to give Jesus Christ most foremost. And that's all that we need to do in this world is to share the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So repent because the kingdom of heaven is near. I hope this helps you in your journey and your gospel journey. And may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with us, with us and to give us peace, grace, and love, and mercy. Amen. Hallelujah. Maranatha.